All right. So I was kind of thinking I did not have many games to go over, but fortunately, I just lost five in a row last night. So some losses, um, and at least some of them were my bad. Uh, I also a while ago had one game versus Thresh somewhere. I don't know if it's still here. It may not be. This one, I actually, oh my god, right? Come on. Probably. Let's see, Aphelios, probably this one. Yep, okay. I already watched this one, but there's just two things to note. Um, so, it's still worth writing it down really quick. Basically, let's see. What's the first two? I just randomly got hooked. Um, I already watched this, but uh, verse thresh walking. I don't look like I'm dead here is the thing, but if I get hooked, I am just dead. So I kind of walked back into it, actually. And now here I'm actually just dead. Um, so, you know. Because I just get yanked into Flay, into Gravitum. And the replay doesn't show up, but yeah, I'm just gone. And then the other one was um, the second death. Wait, no, where's my second death? Because I know I had another death somewhere. This is fine for us, it's all good. All right. So here I drop a ward before recalling. And actually, I think we see... I wasn't really paying attention this game or something. I don't know. I was kind of trying to eat some food, but still, it's bad. So like, yeah, see fresh on map, river. See, I just get hooked from over here, and then after this, the game is basically over, so, yeah. Um, all right, anyways, on to the more recent lost streak. I don't know if they're all worth watching, but let's start with this one. Um, The Leona matchup is like, it's, I, I like playing it. It's good for Sona. The one thing is like, if you make a mistake, you do die. And so it's sort of punishing, but like you should slowly win as Sona um, because you should not get caught by Leona. Her range is too short, uh, especially like pre six. Um, One thing that sort of annoys me is when the AD carry takes cleanse. 
Because it's like, I'm the target, not them, you know? If they just took exhaust, I would prefer that. Um, this is actually fine. See, the reason that's okay is Misfortune doesn't get the auto off, so it doesn't proc glue on a passive, it does no damage. It's probably not great to take the Misfortune Q, but... Um, hello? What are replays doing? Uh, yeah, so it's fine to get CC'd by Leona if um, uh, if the animated carry doesn't follow up. Or is not in range to follow up. Um, so like here, I, yeah, this is okay, whatever. But then somewhere I just get need an MFQ. Uh, oh well. Kind of annoying to position versus misfortune cues, but whatever. Okay, basically this is all fine. Just whatever. Um, so this is where it goes badly. Um, we don't know where Leona is. Like she could be mid or something. I mean, she's not, but. So he E flashes. That's kind of interesting. I didn't realize Leona could do that. I, I So I didn't flash it in time. Maybe the E flash is why. Also, the other thing is the misfortune you know, slows me, so I can't really run away very fast from the Leona. I mean, I still have time to flash it, right? If I, I should have my mouse like here, I think, because it's kind of, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, I'm probably dead no matter what summoner my AD carry takes here, right? What I would love, because if they go, if the Leona, Leona against Sona is going to engage on the Sona, right? Like, I mean, the reason in this case they engage on me is the misfortune is in range to hit me. Um, but like, Zion does not need cleanse. What if she just like walks up here and exhausts the misfortune? I would still die, probably. It's, I'm dead here no matter what summoners we have, unless I have cleanse. Maybe I should just go cleanse too. Uh, unironically versus um, uh, Kiana. But, um, so. Problem is just we have no vision. I mean, in hindsight, Leona's here, but you know. It's just as likely that she's not. I mean, looking at the lanes, there's nowhere she can roam, but like, anyway. So I get slowed. Ah, uh, just gotta be ready for this flash. Honestly. I kinda got ran by Keith McBrief the entire day. He's gonna be ready. Yeah, so anyway, I think it's E-Flash is what Leona does, right? Yeah, I swear she sort of starts her E-Animation before she flashes. Anyways, yeah, so goodbye. I have to flash before that connects. I, and it's not the end of the world in terms of CS, but I have no flash heal now, so. Okay. Also, like, we're kind of losing bot now, is the other thing. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but. Like, this trade is good for us. The Misfortune ult doesn't do too much. Um, here, this is kind of annoying. I don't get hit by this Leona. -y. She has no flash, but Zaya cancels her recall anyways. I, I, I was not happy with that by Zaya because I was like, well, Zaya should just go back. I, I can kind of do this myself. I Maybe I should just go back too and let them. They're not really going to freeze it. Like, Leona's holding the wave, but like, it's just a few minutes. Like, if they're not going to freeze it, I don't know. No one freezes, like, whatever. 
So maybe I should just go back instead of trying to keep, the reason this is bad that we stay is, um, Zaya needs to go back. We just have she and they have like a lot of damage right now. Um, No, like, I mean, one thing this could be is, like, maybe I should just go up in queue and then stay while Zaya recalls. I would be fine with that, honestly, but Zaya also stays, and then we kind of get a bad trade here. I mean, it's not that bad, actually. Um, but I don't know. Ma mainly just, like... I mean, I always want to walk up to Leona and cue her. She doesn't have her ult. She doesn't have flash. I should be fine. But now we're in a really bad spot bot lane, so. Okay. Anyway. So Zaya is like frantically pinging Echo to not walk through here. Because we, we know Leona's sitting here. But it's kind of crazy that we can't do anything in a 3v2 as well. Echo is not really able to get into his thing. And then he kind of fails his flash over the wall as well. But I mean, it's terrible from Echo, but it's also kind of bad. It's like a really big bot diff because it's a 3v2 and we're just dying. So, I don't know. But we are just pushed in here, right? I mean, I could leave. I don't need to be here to catch the wave. And I sort of, well, I kind of dilly-dally here. Like, if Echo's walking in, I should walk in too, right? But, eh. It is what it is. It's mainly the earlier not getting the recall and not flashing the Leona thing that matter way more. All right, here, this is not great. I ult. Kiana, but like she's able to get in anyways. And then does Zaya not have ult? Maybe not. Uh, where did Zaya use ult? Oh, was it on the Leona R? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, so Zaya has to press R here. I mean, she shouldn't really turn around, but okay, cool. So we have no Leona R, no Zaya R. Uh, actually, it kind of makes sense to ult Kiana in this case, but Leona still has her E, so never mind. I mean, this is not that good for us. Maybe I should just hold my ult here because Zaya has flash and cleanse, and she has to flash cleanse anyways. Like. I don't know. The, Kiana is just such a hard champion to play against because her abilities come out so quickly and like stun you. So it, it kind of looks like it's ulting her too early here, but like maybe if I held it, it would be too late. But like. But maybe we could turn this if I held my R until, uh, you know, someone goes in. It's hard to tell. We actually do kind of do this, but he just, the echo gets like evaporated. Does he not have like tenacity or something, by the way? That's where he'd like, I'm curious. Okay. He has legend tenacity. I don't know. Someone like rooted him? I mean, Leona stuns him, right? And then Leona ease him. And then, boom. They just do so much damage. I don't know. The I mean, she has a full item, but so does Zaya, so it's not like we're that behind. Okay, anyways, this is, yeah, kind of.
kind of nothing, right? Oh, never mind. So we should kill, yeah, we kill that guy. All right. I have flash here, so I'm like, let's run at them. I'll flash the thing. Okay. But we can't actually kill anyone. And then I get flashed on. Zaya cleans this up. But then Misfortune cleans this up. And now Misfortune's super fed. I'm kind of curious if I flashed on, like, Misfortune there. Problem is I have no mana. I have a W cord, so we could kind of run at her. But we have no flash, and Misfortune has flash, so there's not really anything that we can do. I don't know. Like, because I have flash, I want to, like, run at them here, but I just have no mana. Maybe I just... Hmm... It's like I really want to fight, you know, but I I wonder if I just flash directly on Misfortune, like... The problem is she just gets... the like, Kiana gets to, like, run away to the... Kiana's such an annoying champion. Like, she just goes in, invisible. Zaya just can't even punish, like, immediately. And now, now Zaya can punish this, because Kiana has no cooldowns, but, like... It's kind of too late, you know, like, Zaya's not really able to hit first, right? Like Zaya's sort of waiting for Kiana, so like, meanwhile the Misfortune gets to hit for free. I don't know, ah. But we got a shutdown, so it's like, it's not even that bad. Like maybe we could go on Misfortune, but. Anyway, the game's kind of winnable here. Like Sona versus Teemo is like good scaling, right? Because, oh, I was mad about this. Because he just doesn't have cooldowns or something. That's what it is. The like playing versus Kiana is so annoying, right? And like I don't get hit by the. Uh, we're just hitting the blue buff. I don't know, dude. And we lose the blue buff anyway. So like we don't have vision. Kind of feel like they're around here somewhere. And again, playing versus Kiana is like really really annoying. He actually just misses the ult or something. Okay, cool. Call it a sidestep. I ult him, but Echo has no cooldown, so we can't really do anything. I don't know. Uh, can I not walk here or something? And now we're just dead. Oh, well, he's just dead. I mean, maybe I just can't walk here. I kind of want to just call it a jungle diff. They're like, we're in our own jungle. I dodged the Kiana ult. I ult the Kiana. Our jungler can't do anything. That's, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about it, you know? Okay, um, anyway, let's see. But a lot of the time, again, versus Teemo, you can just group up and not scale, because you just ult him, he does no damage, blah, blah. Um, Yone is, like, losing lane, but, like, the way the matchups go, like, we win team fights, it's fine. Okay, this is, whatever... I mean, it's hard to walk into our own jungle now. Like, Leona and Misfortune are so strong. That's actually good, right? We got shut down. It's okay for us. I mean, we're down 8,000 gold, but, you know, probably half of that lead is on Misfortune. She has, like, two and a half items. We have, like, one and a half. Uh, oh, I just died. What? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, a little. It's hard to walk in anywhere, honestly. And then get clipped by Leona and uh, Kiana. Kiana is just incredibly annoying. Like, am I out of position? Kind of. I don't know. There's really not much to do at this point. I've kind of slowed, and like, the hitbox is like just. They should make the wall hitbox smaller or something. It's so annoying, but what can you do? All right, anyway, I'm just dead. I don't know, there's not much to say about these. Like, we're so behind. Let's see, if, do we actually get any team fights ever? This was actually kind of bad, right? Because Yone has an angle here. Uh, Misfortune manages to get out. 
I mean, I wonder if Yone hits his, like, knockup and then... But the point is, I mean, I want to flash ult because if we kill a Misfortune, we turn the game around, right? Like, we need to kill Misfortune. But, um... Did I flash? Oh. Well, never mind. So anyway, the point is, I should probably save my ult for, like, if the Yone ult hits instead of just using it. Um, so I could have it for like the later, whatever. Oh. Right, like if I had it, if I was following Yone here, I mean, I want to kill this ward, but. Yeah, we don't absolutely need to fight here, but like if I was fighting there with my ult up, it would be Good. Anyway, now we're down 10,000 gold, so... Like, by the strength of our champions, we could still kind of win a fight, but it's really hard to get a good one. I mean, we kind of can't win a fight if Leona and Kiana play it well, but... Let's see. Yeah, I, honestly, Yone got some kills. Mm. Well, okay. Oh, right, okay, so we got a nice pick, actually. Is that, uh, the, uh... Uh, Vex is on a ward, so um, Lux does a nice job of like walking up and then uh, just boom. Okay, so this should be good for us. Uh, Yone is fine. No, he's dead. Never mind. The problem kind of, I would follow this, I would go this way to help Yone, but Zaya is low, so I kind of want to go this way. But realistically, maybe it's better if I go that way. No, I would just die to Kiana, I don't know. Dude, Kiana is an annoying champion. Can we kill her? We must, okay, we do. But I just died to Kiana ult. I mean, really, I you kind of always want to press W, but in this case, Zaya's not like actively in combat, and the Yone is like running in. So maybe I should save my W for like following the Yone, like here. I mean, really, usually it doesn't make sense to save W. It's on like a five second cooldown, right? But like. It would be good if I had it. And then boom, Keanu. I don't know. We're just too far behind. It, it's mainly being ready to flash the Leona flash. Um, okay. Let's see. Some of these. Maybe not all of them. This one is not really worth going over. I just didn't flash the Zillion double bomb when both junglers were bought. Which is something maybe I should work on, but like, whatever. Just write it down. I'm not even... What did we have? I forget. Oh my god. Okay, we should. That's all there is to be said about that one. Um, okay. This one, actually, well, this one was maybe worth going over, but. Think did I? I had a few mistakes this game, but maybe it's worth watching. Maybe I have more. I don't know. Uh, honestly, the Yume got caught a few times, but it was sort of doomed anyways. Um, our top laner just had magic resist by accident somehow. I don't know. I doubt he thought it was Vagar top, so I. 
something bad happened in Champ Slack, and then he kind of died a lot. But oh, anyway, I don't know if um, versus Yumi it's worth it to like trade auto Q for her passive. Probably not, but maybe if she's full mana, it's okay. This Yumi did, like, I kind of dodged the Qs, too. I mean, we should really just stand in the minion wave so she can't Q, but whatever. Okay, I got hit by that one. That's not good. So this trades probably could be better if I was in the wave, but... It's going okay, right? I randomly ate a Vagar W. Did half my HP. Where was that? I got hit by this? No way. I guess I kind of stepped into it, but like, wow. Okay. The lid's okay though, for us. Kind of want to push and recall, yeah. I want to walk up, but if I get caged by Vagar, it's really annoying, so. But this is good. And then we managed to root the Yumi, so. I am take maybe too much damage here, but what can you do? The lane sort of stuck, so we do have to walk up. I uh, burnt heal, yeah. I mean, we... I, this is really scuffed. I should have flashed away earlier, but Yumi ignited the wrong person, so. Whatever, oh, this trade looks terrible. I mean, the problem is I kind of have to step into the stun, right? Because I, but like, how did Zaya get stunned? How can they just trade with us? Okay. I mean, it's not a great trade, but whatever. Dude, I feel like instead of walking back, Zaya should walk forwards here. Like, just run into them. But I don't know. Like, cause she takes damage anyways, right? Like, and I, I, I maybe I shouldn't walk into this done. But like, I don't want to get, you know. Now I have no health, so. I, I don't know, maybe it's a terrible trade. This is good, we can kind of run them down. Oof. Uh, I mean, he just hits six and nukes me. I wonder if I could like, so I could probably step to the right and dodge that, but I would die to like an auto anyways. But it actually is okay. Credit to Zaya, she runs this guy down. Dude, I feel like Graves was not paying attention here because as soon as this teleport happens, like, well, maybe he was paying attention, but wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, like here, he's still walking to the, like, I mean, it's easy to see in hindsight and with like two, five speed, but like, why are we doing Krogs? Vagar is like running at our AD carry. Um, I dismissed the notification. Anyway. There is a fight, uh, but I don't think I... Yeah, I mean, I get here and then actually ult both of them, barely win. Can we kill the Veigar too? Oh, not with Yumi here. 
I mean, kind of want to, but we cannot. I also feel like. Uh, never mind, we're okay, cool. Alright, where are we? So the game is not doomed right now. Oh, I shouldn't walk back in here because Vagar could just arm me. Yeah. This was the one kind of bad early mistake I had, I think. So we want to just run him down right now. Um, well, actually, the way this starts is weird, but sure. I want to kind of contribute, but like Vagar, when the thing about Vagar is if he flashes in, someone is going to die, right? It's us or him, but someone is going to die. So I should just try to not die. Like, he's dead no matter what here. I don't need to walk back in. But, yeah, no, I'm dead. So that should not, I should not die there. Right, like. Yeah. And this is kind of the first thing the whole game, honestly, but. Well, Because we should actually be kind of in a good spot now. I think the Sona Yumi, Yumi matchup is like, it's annoying in games when everyone has a lot of mobility. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Right, because she's always with someone and can CC and chase people, but Sona's good if you're group because you have more like uh, sustained healing than Yumi, I think. Not really gated by mana as much and just heal more. Um, but yeah, some tragedy happens top, honestly. And it ended up working out bot for us. Again, I feel like Graves is not paying attention here. He's just like, yeah, I'm doing both my camps at once. You know, I gotta, gotta kill the blue buff. Meanwhile, the Yone is just like chasing me down. I don't know. And then the poppy like teleports behind. All right, guys, we're just done. I th actually, the human just to execute, so. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's like Grizz just should do his camps. I shouldn't walk up to Yone. It's not like I'm walking up. Clear a ward, run away. Ah, uh, see, I want to clear this ward, but Graves, like which is more important, the ward or the camps? Realistically, probably the camps, so it's kind of my bad. Yeah, honestly. Kind of my bad. I, in it, it, at the time, I was annoyed, but like I can see, like it doesn't do anything to clear the ward. And, okay, so I kind of performs here. What, what is this? Just exhausts and then. Okay, so we're down like three thousand, but. This is a team fight for sure. Whew. Okay. Um, they kind of just engage on us. Um, I mean, I play it cleanly, right? No, honestly, Zaya has ult like. 
can't she? Uh, I mean, Vagar has flash. We're not gonna kill him. But like in terms of playing this cleanly, this is wild turtle, by the way. I'm just saying, pro player, just press R and walk over the cage, right? Isn't that like? I don't know. Like his R does nothing here. Okay. Well, anyways. Rengar is here. Vagar still has flash. Fortunately, we're able to kill the Rengar. Um, I actually kind of confused how we even kill. Oh, because of graves. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we kill Rengar for sure here. So it's okay, but okay. Actually, it's not the end of the world. All right, well, whatever it is, what it is. But then Poppy is coming. Honestly, this fight kind of is like a good fight for Sona usually because we're all grouped. The problem is I have no ult. They have Yumi. They have Vagar. Yumi even Vagar. Their bot lane kind of, you know, runs us here. So we're not able to burst the Yone. And then the Yumi and the Poppy just go through us. We also have no Fjord ult, and then I die as well. I wonder if I could run away. Because we can't really defend this tower. Yeah. I should just run. But, I mean, it's not really the main thing. I don't know. But, uh... yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. We get a pick. I should just ult somewhere, probably. I think it's fine. We just need to kill the Poppy. She's kind of strong. Um, all right. So we could look at Dragon here. Annie has Flash soon, wants to go. Actually, Annie hits the Flash here. I feel like she used some abilities on Yumi, who was able, to, uh, credit to Yumi in this case for getting the shield actually without getting stunned. I mean, Annie used her stun, right? She has no stun left. So like the engage, it kind of looks good, but no one's able to follow. If you have follow up CC, the Yumi can't hop out. And then I don't have my ult. So we actually, no one is low. The Vagar has no flash. If we could kill Vagar, it would be good. But he has like shield bow and Yumi, so it's like whatever, we can't. The Grave somehow performs though, so it's actually okay. You would think we would kill that guy, but. I, don't, I think Vagar is kind of broken maybe, but also we're not playing around his cage very well. Oh, she actually does parry through it, but Yeah, uh, I mean, it's kind of interesting. Like, it's a cool Fiora mechanic, right? Where you can parry through the cage. The problem is now she has no parry, right? So, Vagar can just like drop all his abilities on her and she just walks through them and, right? Like, W, Q, R, boom. Um, I wonder, I mean, in hindsight, maybe, but if we walk around like this, there's no way we can kill him. I don't, it looks like we should be able to chase him down, but I guess not. So, yeah, it is what it is. Whatever, we get the dragon. Uh, okay, round two. Nope. Oh, I did. I kind of waste my flash, actually. That's probably my bad wasting flash. It's an important ability, you know? Looks okay. <laughs> Something happens. Okay. Oh, I'm. Ooh, I missed my ult. Okay, this is, uh, it's definitely a buck up here. I mean, the problem is kind of their range. 
Also, I'm way farther ahead than Zaya, so Vagar's free to cage. Like, the cage that splits you and your AD carry is really annoying because, like, he can walk up and we can't do anything about it. So I probably shouldn't be farther ahead than Zaya. Anyway. I really just missed the ult. I wonder if I ult him, he might not get his W and Q off. Zaya is probably dead as well now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, OK. Um, so anyway. Uh, but I mean, they scale pretty well at this point. It's kind of just like the scaling, like the gold lead. Not much we can do. I mean, we get some team fights, but yeah. All right, whatever. Um, what is it? Uh, This, okay, this is the actual good game to go over these two, I think. Because the, the first two games were just, you know, whatever. But these two were probably winnable. Um, and then I, uh, yeah, this game was winnable for sure because their, their whole team is like AP, right, except Ezreal. So if we just don't feed the Ezreal, like it's, you know, by Merc Treads, the game's pretty free. But um, unfortunately, we kind of, let's see, we kind of, uh, well, you can't see it here, but. Yeah, we were really fed Ezreal, so he kind of ran away with the game. And he was the only one on their team who could win the game because they're all AP. So, I mean, the problem is, like, Ezreal Nami should be, like, such an easy lane for Sona, right? But, like, I feel like Swain does nothing. Mm, but, you know, and he also, like, pushes the... I'm not level 2, but I should leave the surely or whatever but at the same time he doesn't need to push this but whatever okay anyway this is the problem so I want to walk this way so Ezreal can't Q me right but he doesn't Q he just walks up in auto and Nami walks up in autos and meanwhile Swain's doing nothing I've already like lost half my HP and now I've lost like okay I've lost 500 400 health like Nami flash ignites so the trade is not terrible but I mean, no, that trade is terrible. What, what am I saying? Like, the summoner spells are used, but the trade is just awful. So why why is it that Ezreal can just do this? Like, look where he's walking. I don't, this is what is boggles the mind a little, you know, like, what, he's just walking up. I feel like Swain is, like, useless or something is what I want to say. Like, he took W level one. This is why I didn't really, okay. I mean, in general, like, the thing is, people say, oh, Ezreal is a strong level one. I mean, yeah, if he hits every Q, but, like, you just stand in the minions. He's not going to hit your, you know, how is he going to Q you? You're standing in the minions. But if he's strong enough, like, 2v2 to walk past the minion wave, like, and just auto you to death, then sure. Like, if you have to run away, you can't really hide from the Q in the minions. Um... I did not realize that Swain took W level 1. So that's part of it. He cannot really do anything here. I mean, it, I don't know. It is a little crazy to me that like he gets two autos off in this whole thing. Three. Um, well, they're just like running me down. But we have a Swain with W level 1, so we can't do anything. All right, and like the way you play the Nami versus Sona matchup, right, is you stay outside of her W range. So like walking up like this is bad because they're both able to hit me, right? 
Um, but again, it's just, I'm not out of, so right here, yeah, I, I have to just, honestly, it's kind of an ego thing. I should just eat the Ezreal Q and run away. Like, the problem is I want to dodge the Ezreal Q. You know, it's a fun mini game. Like, he has a skill shot. He throws his skill shot. You try to dodge it. Um, but he doesn't even have it right now, for one thing. So why am I trying to dodge the Q when it's literally on cooldown? All right. You know what? That is a good thing to point out as well. Ezreal Q actually has a six second cooldown at level one, which is something I was not really thinking about here when I was stepping this way, trying to dodge it. So I should just run away this way. So like stepping to the right there is really bad. His Q is not even up. Swain is W. There's, yeah, I should just run straight away this way. Okay, so. This game was totally, the, the previous games, like I made mistakes, but like, you know, am I putting my name first or second? It doesn't matter. Um, not even consistent conventions, but what can you do? Swain Sona is also a terrible lane because um, so Sona has no CC to set up Swain's passive. But I mean, when you have two one tricks, it is what it is. Um, okay. Swain has W L one on CD. As your Q is on CD. Don't step behind minions. Just run away from ours. Well, I guess it's all one line. Okay. Anyway. I stayed because I had both the health potions used, and I was like, well, I'll get W eventually. I don't know, maybe it's okay. Good. And, and, um... They kind of throw the dive, honestly. Like, the game is fine for us still, even after I messed up the trade early. We burn Swain Summoners here, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, this fight, I think I may have messed up. So Nami is clearing this... Er, wait. No, I'm clearing this pink. I mean, I E-cord her. Okay, well, I kind of take a W, but whatever. Swain hits his thing, right? but I eat the Nami bubble. So if I don't eat, I had Q like coming off cooldown, right? So, um, I mean, for me to clear the pink, I have to eat the Nami W, it is what it is. But here, I probably should not eat the bubble. But I want to stand there and hit her. It's kind of unfortunate, my Q is just not quite on cooldown. I mean, I kind of get solo killed by Nami. Yeah. But I'm amazed that we can't fight this, because Ezreal is back here. He has like five, six minions, you know, to hit. So. You know, this looks like a good fight, but I do get bubbled. I think I would have to like cancel an auto or something. But actually, okay, here's what it is, right? I'm I'm potentially dying here, right? I should be stepping to the, as much as I can uh, up instead of like back down. Let's see if I do that. So that Ezreal can't go in. So, I mean, he has flash and he, he's gonna get on it. Uh, I don't know, what can you even say about this? Like, cause this ends up being bad for us, but like, And the wave is doing too. Like it ends up being bad for us, but like it's it is kind of crazy to me that we uh, don't clear this pink here. But 
they're actually able to just like run us in the early fight. I mean, like we're not gonna win fights early, right? With no minions here, Ezreal has a lot of damage. He also has like a Sheen already. So like, and, and even in general, right? Like Sona versus Nami, we do not win early fights. Like even if Nami is level three and Sona is level four, I guess we just don't win early fights. It's maybe it's because I e-cord her for no reason instead of W cord or something and then take some damage. I don't know. I kind of like e-cord, but like if it's gonna be a fight anyways, maybe it should be a W cord. I mean, that's a good point. How much damage do I take from Nami while she's e corded? So I start at like 600 health. I mean, not that much. I take 100 damage. I would have reduced like 30, it doesn't matter. 20. Okay, that's not the problem. Should I just be walking this way? I think I should just be running into Nami here is the answer instead of walking back down. Because Ezreal is so far away, yeah, I should just be walking into like into Nami instead of back down. Also, because she hits level four, she levels up for my death. Yeah, okay. Let's see where Ezreal was the whole fight, actually. I mean, credit to Ezreal, he cancels his auto and, oh, never mind, he autos again. Yeah, he's not even joining the fight until Nami gets, but he's like over here. I don't know. Might be we just can't fight in the river at all because Ezreal is so strong and Sona is so weak, you know, and Swain is so weak and Nami is so strong at this point in the game. So like we just can't fight at all. All right. Okay, so we're down a thousand gold. It's probably all on Ezreal, which is again really unfortunate because they have Timo, Silas, uh, Sichuani, Nami. Like we buy Merc trades, we win, right? Okay, cool. We somehow don't manage to win this, which is a little crazy. So there's a giant wave. We actually hit this. Okay, Ezreal uses his E, right? So we want to fight. Ezreal is no E, no flash. We can just run him down. But between the wave and the Ezreal Q, Swain loses all his health. I mean, Part of the problem is Swain is back here and I am up here and Echo is over here. So it's like not clear what target we're hitting. The Nami is not the target. Okay, this is bad by Echo actually to use Q on Nami. Like she has flash, Ezreal is nothing. We need to kill Ezreal right now. We know Ezreal has no flash. Swain like pinged it earlier. Right, like Ezreal is just walking here no flash. No, I feel like I'm right and everyone else is wrong. Like, Echo's going on Nami and Swain is like fighting the minion wave, but like, you know, we should be going on Ezreal right now. He has no flash, he has nothing. Um, he's able to hit a lot of Qs and eventually get another E in this fight, I think. I mean, and it is always hard when you're running down Ezreal because like, you want to just run him down, right? Like, you want to walk straight at him, but then he gets to cue you. But how does Swain walk this way and I walk this way? Like, Ezreal will kind of waste his E, honestly. I mean, sure, you get hit by that one. Okay, we cue the minion wave uh, for some reason. 
And then we're just walking this way. Dude, I don't agree with whatever happened here. Like, I'm walking into Ezreal, like, preemptively, honestly. Like, I probably, sh like, should not be um, face tanking Ezreal's damage before teammates are hitting him. But at the same time, like, teammates should be hitting him right now, uh, in my mind. Like, he has no mobility left for, like, 10 seconds. Um, if we all just pile on him, like, can't we kill him? Like... And the re I W cord him here because I'm like, honestly, he can't even run away. We just need to be able to win the fight, right? Like, should I be waiting here? I wonder if I should just be like waiting here. I mean, well, obviously it's, we should have, <sighs> I don't know. I kind of heal early. And now I'm the one who's not hitting. And now Ezreal has another E. I don't know. But like, I think I was right, and they were like, not just running Ezreal down for some reason. Okay, whatever, dude. Uh, Nami kind of dies for no reason there. Like, they, they kind of tower dive griefed it twice, honestly. Like, this game should be terrible for us. It was pretty bad, but okay. Um, but like, I mean, part of the reason it's okay is like, they're all AP except Ezreal. Like, it should be such a free win. Okay, I wasted my ult here. We just do not kill him at all. I think he has like Divine Sunder or something. I mean, Nami ults too, but she actually hits hers. Yeah. Should really, because now I have no ult when they come and drop the Herald, we can't do anything. We probably couldn't do anything about that anyways, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I wasted my flash here. Because we really want to kill Ezreal. Aurelia hits the stun. I flashed a little early though, because if I still had flash ult, couldn't I just kill him here potentially? So, yeah. Save flash until in range. I mean, obviously. And actually, the gold was still even until the dragon fight. Um, the Cloud Drake here. Aurelia finds an interesting play, I think, on Teemo. Teleports out. OK, here's the setup for the dragon. Feel like we can kind of do it. They have no Teemo, but we're not all here yet. Um, so they have no Teemo, but we aren't all here yet. Don't start drag. Our window is five v four.
Because Timo is no teleport, right? I actually, I have a good ult here, right? Almost live. On the back side, I do not manage to dodge the uh, Ezreal Q. It's kind of a shame. I should just walk straight away from Ezreal, honestly, instead of walking down. But he just guesses. I, he has no vision of me here. He just, yeah, randomly queues over the wall and gets me. Basically the story of last night, honestly, in these games. I just get hit by a Keith McGrew's skill shots. Well played, I guess. I, and this this would be good for us if I uh, don't die here because then I can heal, right? Playing Sona. But. Turn away from Ezreal instead of walking straight right. I think, I mean, I don't know how I was walking, but I was kind of dodging to the right, but like. Here, like I want to kind of dodge, but what am I dodging? I'm not dodging anything. I should just run away. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, just don't get hit by the skill shot. Like, <laughs> how do you improve? Just don't get hit by the skill shot. It's basically that simple. Um, should do it with our vision though. Actually, it's probably more accurate. Like, cause I. Doubt I would walk up if I saw Silas and Sidwani. Yeah. I mean, maybe pop the plant first so you can see if Silas and Sidwani are there. And I shouldn't be walking. Yeah, okay. I get caught by the Everfrost is what it is, but anyway. And then actually there was one interesting thing about this that um, the Swain does catch Ezreal on his like thing. I'm pretty sure if Yasto it was like really quick, he can ult off of that. And that's really what we need to get on Ezreal. But like now we just, uh, we have no way of engaging on Ezreal. So yeah, I don't know, we just can't. Uh, can't fight this. And we actually kind of died on the way out. So. Yeah. But if I was alive there, I would just sustain everyone. And so it's kind of a close fight. But as, now Azrael is really strong as well. So. And I have another death here. Right. So Sejuani just comes, or someone, Silas and Sejuani again from over here. I mean, you would think we're fine here because they just took Dragon. It's kind of our time to like, you know, do stuff. Uh, it is our turn, as they say, but I have no ult, so I can't really walk up. And they just like CC me or whatever, you know? I may not actually need to flash. No, I need to flash this. Like, yeah. I mean, I could hold my flash and like wait until they go in flash but it's really the Silas Everfrost I'm surprised that roots me but whatever because once I get hit by all the abilities and then Ezreal actually just insta kills me um, I mean, yeah, like, again, you would think it's sort of our turn to do stuff, but Ezreal is level 12, so it's really never our turn to do anything because Swain is level 9. Uh, and once I flash away, I really should just run away. I guess I'm in the stun, or uh, the, uh, not stun, but root of the Everfrost. Kind of. Just can't really walk back in. I mean, we don't really, well, how do we start a fight, ideally? Like, clearly that's not it, but uh, maybe let Silas 
Tiffany CC someone else. Like Aurelia is really strong, but she doesn't have the mobility in CC of Silas and Sejuani. I feel like, even though she's like stronger and like if they just stand there hitting each other, so it's like easier for them to find picks. I don't know. All right, I kind of wasted my ult. It looks like. Okay, this guy's just dead. I mean, I want to ult the Echo, but or the Ezreal, but. Close. Okay, whatever. Alright, Swain. See, I should, if I still have my ult here, maybe, you know, could do something. So, you know, don't miss your ult. Dodge the skill shots, don't miss your ult. And then we do just lose the team fights, even though we have Merc Treads or whatever, just because Ezreal is so strong. Um, I think maybe we could kind of win still, but get randomly caught. I mean, they're able to find random picks way more than we are this game. I don't know why. Just the champions, I guess. They have more... In I mean, no, just because Ezreal's so ahead, really. Let's see, do I die? Uh, yeah, like, Ezreal can just frontline. Right, and with the Nami, uh, did she go Mandate? No, she has Shirelius. All right, it's literally, I mean, Nami E, but whatever. All right. Also, our, I mean, Aurelia and Yasuo are just like side laning because they don't want to defend mid. I feel like with Sona, we should still try for the 5v5. We shouldn't just give up and say, all right, we'll just go side lane because we can win our split push. like. Like, I can see the idea as a response to their Baron is like, all right, we'll just give up mid, take some towers, lose gracefully, but I feel like with Sono, we should just run it down mid and pray for a winning 5v5. I try and, like, ult someone squishy and we just kill them, but yeah. Well, that's this game. I mean, the main thing is like, early, like literally level one, honestly, like realizing that it's fine if Ezreal is in Q range of you, but I can't walk into Nami's W range and I can't walk, let, let Ezreal get multiple autos off because yeah, I will just die. Um, although that wasn't even the issue in the end. I don't know. All this stuff. I'm never gonna remember all of this. I need to go back over the old notes later, but can I spell this right? I don't know if it's spelled right. <laughs> Whatever. Um all right. So, I mean, early game Alistar is weak, like level one, but Jinx is AFK. Uh, level three onwards, Alistar just kills me, right? So, anyway. Also, I don't know if I have a magic resist rune. I think I do, actually, so we're good. Yeah. Okay. Kind of doing something troll here, but late W, Cory, whatever. Uh, I kind of take damage for no reason there, but it's hard to walk around the wall. Whatever. So we don't do much. Alistar hits level 3 for free. Okay, fair enough. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We're scaling. He does roam mid. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. So here, I want to hit the tower. This is really... Oh, it's warded. Wow, I'm trolling. Okay. I thought it was my airy that gave it away, but it was actually just warded. 
Um, I don't need to recall on this bush. I could just walk here to recall. Walk back to tower to recall instead of the bush. Like it turns out it's worded. I thought it was area that gave me away as I was like walking away. Because like, I want to hit the tower for gold. Okay, cool. See how area follows me back? I thought it was area that gave me away. I think they can still see it. I don't know, but it turns out it was just warded. All right, whatever. Anyway, I kind of flash heal, but die anyways. So that's really bad. Now I have no sums. I don't know. I didn't think Cassiope could kill me. And now we're just doomed off of this. I mean, Cassiope exhausted and we still lose this. Because Jinx has exhaust. Cassiope looking kind of broken. Can we not just run her down? I mean, it's not like Jinx misses any auto attacks here, right? There's a whole wave hitting her, though, is the problem. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, I recalled in the bush, and it was warded. My bad, guys. OK. And that really sets off this whole chain of events. I want to get an e-cord off on Alistar. It's the only possible way of getting a kill back there, but it's not really possible, I think. The Griffin Talia is like not good either. We should win this game if I don't throw like this, but um, let's see. Do they find a dive? No. Rumble for all here. Oh wait, they do find a dive. Okay. I mean, Rumble kind of had to hover bot earlier. Now his wave is crashing. There's nothing Rumble can do here. Um, see. I do hit six. I should ult Al. Oh, wait, he's in Okay, I do ult Alistar, and it's not good. Never mind. I was like, well, okay, Alistar is not six. I guess I'll ult him. But then I die. Because Alistar... I mean, I need to ult whoever takes tower aggro, right? That's the obvious. I need to ult whoever has tower aggro, and then maybe we get one kill back, and it's okay. But the problem is, if I just wait to get CC'd, I'm just dead uh, before I can get my ult off. I also sort of Frantic here because it just to level six. Okay, I have time to level ult up. Ah, uh, but I just ult the wrong person. I don't know. I thought Alistar was going to tank the tower or something, but it turned out that uh, it was Talia instead. So, you know. I mean, even if I ult Talia, like, I bet she has, like, a stopwatch or some shit. Like, I don't know. All right. I swear maybe if I don't tell you, we could get a kill. But... Yeah. Uh, it's too kind of like, really just like the death in the bush, but it leads to this going terribly. So, yeah. Anyway, now let's see. Ooh, I think I. We can't kill Cassiopeia here. I really just don't kill Cassiopeia here. I mean, I have no damage, right? I have a Kindle gem. I also don't have my Q cord. Like, if I had Q cord, I could kill her, but I just don't. Like, maybe? I E corded a minion. Okay. Well, that is actually incredibly important, I guess. Save power cord when fight happens. I mean, it's one thing to power cord the tower or something. Just randomly e corded a minion. All right. Well, I guess that's the thing. Why don't I have a power cord? Well, I e corded a minion. Okay. I mean, we want to push this in, right? Sure. We do want to push, but like. Because I have no power cord, she can just live here. So, and there's nothing left that I can do here. Oh, actually, again, I have no power cord. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can get this kill, but no power cord. It's kind of close. 
actually close. Maybe if I like started with Q or something. She has no vision, I think, so. Like if I walk up here and like Q first and then R. The problem is I have to like auto Cassiopeia to death and I do no damage. So I don't know. Uh, it's worth a try, but I guess I just need a power cord. Anyway. Was this anything? She looks okay. Oh, Alistair walked back around now, whatever. Um, the game, you know, we turn it around almost. This is actually like Sona scaling here, you know, this is good. Their Talia just dies. We should win this. Cool, we're chasing them down. So you see this guy, I mean, I think it's good. Kind of running them, so on a death ball. I wanna just end the game because the Yasuo and the Cassiopeia are the only strong people on their team. We have Sona Jinx, I really wanna end. And then we do not end. So this is kind of my bad. We should win the game, like either here or later. I just miss my ult though. And then I take tower aggro and die. And then we uh, do not end. Uh, can't be. I mean, Yasuo is respawning is the thing. Can we end? I don't know. Talia has flash. I think I, I'm not in range to ult Talia right now, but I could flash on her. The problem is if she flashes away, it's bad. But I kind of want to just wait here and like, Poppy pushes her away from my ult is the thing. It's really just unlucky, dude. Like Poppy stun, I, not blaming Poppy or anything. And then I get knocked into the Alistar, Talia combo. I mean, Alistar and Talia do outplay us there, right? It's a good, good flash by Talia and then a good combo. It's kind of just unlucky how the, uh, but I mean, I will say like, if Poppy is running it, uh, if Poppy is running it Talia, I should ult where Talia is gonna push her. Like if I'm ulting right here, right now, eh, she would still be able to flash away probably, but like, yeah. Kind of impossible. If I was like clairvoyant, maybe I could ult where Poppy pushes her like ahead of time. That would be really crazy. Um, so anyway, at this point I should just... Uh, I mean, ulting ahead of the... Like... Ahead of, that would be crazy, but mainly I should flash the Alistar combo. Okay. So we get the dragon, they get Baron. It is what it is. We're still fine. Kind of okay. Let's see. So Rumble goes mid to end the game. Wait, Poppy ults kind of the wave away, but they still have a minion left, so they can still take the tower. Uh, I ult, which is correct, because he doesn't have time to win wall, I think. We do not quite. Uh, I don't know. I think Kha'Zix should not go in like this. I think we kill Yasuo here, because he's the one who overextended, right? So the Jinx traps do not connect. Okay. Kha'Zix goes in and dies. All right. I have heal for Jinx, so we're okay. The Zap is clean. Credit there. Poppy stops some recalls. I wonder if he could end this. I feel like he could. The 
problem is, so I should just walk up and auto the Wukong here. But I'm like zoned by Yasuo, but I should just die for it. I don't get the auto off. So basically, I should walk straight at Wukong and auto him. I think we would end here. Right? He has teleport, but... I don't know if we could end, honestly. Like, the one thing that I do that's really bad is I don't walk straight at Wukong and just auto him. I sort of hover around the Yasuo here. I honestly didn't really realize that Rumble was, like, going to end. Um, probably muted his pings, actually, which is the correct move with this Rumble. But I, I should have seen him, like, walking down mid lane. Um... I'm kind of hungry. Um, let's see. Be nice if I could save Poppy, but yeah, no. Okay. I guess just walk straight. The thing is, Rumble has teleport, or not Rumble. Uh, Wukong, Wukong has teleport. Like. Okay, he ults early. But Because even if Rumble doesn't get back, he would teleport back. But we could maybe end it. So anyway, yeah. I'm going and walk straight into no, just... Yeah, but mainly it was not flashing the Alistar combo over here. So this was a winnable one. All right, I think that's about it.